Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just showing you the 65 again today. Uh, it's been a busy day as far as this tank goes. Um, first off, we'll start. Bought three new fish today. There's a couple of them right there. Two more of those honey dwarf garamis. Um, I'm hoping having two more will bring out a little bit more color in the other ones. Actually, I think I, I noticed in more color already, especially in the males and females. You can see one there and another one right there. Um, they're also starting to show a little more color, it looks like, but the males are really looking good. There's a good picture of that. So they're good. You, got, you can see the yellowish on the uh, on the dorsal fin, kind of the bluish black face and the, the reddish orange body. A real good looking fish. Also got another angel fish, so I got five in here now. Let's see if I can get close enough to them. The black guy right there. Um, yeah, real good looking fish. Um, I think I paid $6.99 for that black angel. And uh, I think $4.99 a piece for those. So it wasn't too bad of a deal. So, yeah. Good looking fish. I've been wanting a black one for a while. I want a blue one, but those are nearly impossible to come by. Pretty rare. They're going to cost a pretty penny if you can come across one. So, um, if I ever get my hands on one, you bet your sweet ass I'm going to. I'm gonna pop on that. There's that guy, Hong Kong Pleco back there, Hillstream Loach, same thing. Hear him called a couple different things. Um, get the clown loach in there. They're rarely in here. And the albino rainbow shark. They kind of just chill out in there together. That's their little little hiding spot. Um, so what else we got to talk about? Quite a bit actually. Um, as I said in the video earlier. Um, gonna be buying. Actually, I already ordered three bags of the uh, the Eco Complete, which is this stuff over here. Um, so I'm gonna siphon out all the sand here and uh, dump two more bags of Eco Complete. The other bag um, is for Alex AP20 Camaro 10. If you're not uh, subscribed to him, check him out. He's got some good stuff. He's gonna be starting to plan a planet tank as well. We both got a couple cichlid tanks, um, but uh. Yeah, um, what else? Bought a nice piece of driftwood today. Probably gonna get rid of that piece in the back. It's my biggest piece in here. I mean, I got these little little smaller pieces. Probably gonna get rid of most of those. I like this one right in the middle here. It's a little bit smaller, but it's got a nice shape to it. So, yeah, I'll probably keep that guy. Um, so, probably gonna get rid of the get rid of the rest or give it away or something. Um, also bought a new light. It's not on here yet. Um, should be delivered I think in four days or something like that it said it's an Odyssey 36 inch uh, T5 quad high output um, 156 watts which is uh, it's about 2.4 watts per gallon on this tank which should be adequate for uh, live plants um, I'm be doing the DIY CO2 um, just you know, because I don't feel like spending, you know, hundred some odd dollars on a regulator or whatever. Those are expensive, and then I got to buy the cylinder for the for the CO2. Uh, so it's just a lot of time and money invested in in that. And there's not, I don't know if there's a place around here that would uh, even fill that tank if I could get my hands on one. So uh, I'm just gonna do the DIY. Uh, I've done it in the past, had success with it. Um, no problems. Uh, I think I have enough uh, filtration in here to uh, to push any CO2 out during during the night that isn't getting utilized by the plants. Um, I did get a nice piece of driftwood. It's about 23 inches tall, I think, uh, about 17 inches wide, and uh, like the biggest, you know, the circumference of it it's at its thickest point is like six and a half inches or something like that so it's a pretty pretty beefy piece so that's probably why I'm gonna get rid of all of these I don't want to have too much wood in there and and whatnot I actually might cut the piece into two pieces depending on how it looks it looked pretty uh, pretty sexy online when I was looking at it uh, I actually picked it up on eBay it was uh, something I saw that I thought I'd like I think I paid seven dollars and fifty cents for the actual piece of wood and then it was like eight dollars and fifteen cents to ship so you know 865 or whatever or 15 
65 or whatever it was to uh, total price, something like that, 1585, 1565, I, don't, I forget exactly, somewhere in that neighborhood, but under 20 bucks, can't beat the price for that, um, you know, if you go to the LFS or something and try and buy a piece of driftwood, you can easily spend, you know, 60, 70 bucks, at least the LFS around here, but yeah, it's coming along, um, everything should be here in the next week or so. So uh, then we'll get started and start getting some plants. And uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions for plants, um, let me know. I'm curious to see uh, what other people like to have in their tanks. Obviously, I want the taller, taller plants in the back and smaller ones like the crypts in the front. Um, so I know BM, you're the genius when it comes to a planted aquarium. So if you got any tips for me and uh, what plants you think work best. Um, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching, guys.